Freud. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, la, 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 la. Yeah, wanna, you guys hear yourself? I do. Check. I, 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 don't, I don't like I'm straight, Paul. I mean, I don't like headphones. Mm. What? Sounds better. About how long do we what? go since it's live? Oh, go. Our 15 hours. Yeah. Okay, we go. What's up, fool podcast? Welcome to the What's Up, fool podcast, people. We got Rodrigo Torres right here. Yeah, man. We got fucking um, the kid from Stranger <laughs> Things here. What's up, dude? What? <laughs> <laughs> His little girl, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. What's up, everybody? And we have our guest, people. Special guest. Who's our guest, bro? Alicia Del Valle. Hell Yay. yeah. International Yay. broadcasting and journalism personality. <laughs> Alicia Del Valle, bro. I like that. You know what's funny, bro? Like I, I, I was gonna look up I was gonna look up a list of all the Latino um, newscasters we ever had in Los Angeles. Let's, let's see if you can name them all, bro. Jaime Jarrin. All right. Something I'm Huesca. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Gil, Gil Alfaro. But that was the like yeah. eyewitness news. John guy. Ferraro. Yeah, he he showed up when somebody Whoa. got in a car accident on the five. Something <laughs> grande. <laughs> Uh, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos Grande. Grande. <laughs> There's a cu- <laughs> Laura Diaz. Come on, Laura don't forget Diaz. about Laura Diaz. Laura Diaz. Yeah, yeah. 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 show, right? As a judge. I slipped. What about Lauren Sanchez? Lauren Sanchez. Yeah, she's, is that the one that's with Jeff Bezos? Yes, hell it yeah, is. bro. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna send Mexicans to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> she's to be on Channel Nine, bro. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> when tell me, dog. When I was a child, Lauren Sanchez was on TV. All my friends, I gotta go watch the news, bro. What, bro? Five minutes. No, they have to go watch Lauren Sanchez on Channel 9, bro. KKL. Oh, that's West Coast. You know what? Let me tell you, man. Right here on Channel, right here in LA, man. We grew up watching the only the channel that looked good without an antenna, man. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you got. So, man, CBS was like even unheard of in my TV, bro. <laughs> it was yeah, little NBC. Funny, Every yeah. time I put on CBS, you could t- it was a, it would have been snowing at their station, dude. <laughs> it looked and, cheap. It never reason. came out good, it dude. Cheap. It never came out good. But fuck it, Telemundo and Channel Nine, you could drop your television on the floor, unplug it, and it still looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Clear as day. Yeah. Well, well, well. I just gotta correct. My first job out of college was with Lauren Sanchez, and she was at UPN. Damn. That Channel was 13. 13? Yeah. Mira, look like yeah, he I knows am. his. And Channel then 13. she went to That's 11 KC, when KCOP. 11 bought. K- Yay! Woo. That's where they showed Baywatch, I remember, guys. <laughs> yeah. Reruns. Yeah. And then she did uh, the best damn sports show. She's like, her and Lisa. Hal Fishman, right? On yeah. Channel 5? Hal Fishman. But who was on Channel 13? There was somebody big there, bro, for news back in the days, too. I think it was an African American man. Mm, well, Mark Brown was the first in LA, and he's ABC Channel. Still. That was the station I dreamed of working for. Yeah, as a little girl. When I was, how did how does a girl from Boyle High dream of being a newscaster, <laughs> man? Why, why everybody wants to just get in get in a low rider with somebody in the side? <laughs> There's a lot of news going on over there. I'm some chicks want to be want to be the girl with the best hickeys. Eh? <laughs> oh my, my, my mom beat cheese, my man. ass when I came home with my first hickey. How old were you? Beat 12? my ass. 13. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Who was getting he? Hood ready? Huh? My dad had to pull her off. Me, my little sister was traumatized. Was he your boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How old was he? Yeah, he was a football player for the Rams. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my Jim God. Punk, did he? <laughs> <laughs> it was that dude that brought that fucking the kicker, bro, from the Rams. Oh my God. <laughs> no. I grew, at that time, I was in Pico was Rivera, AliExpress. So. No. <laughs> XFL. XFL. <laughs> Took it way back. Who won the XFL? Trump, Trump huh? had a no, team, right? Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Vince XFL. Owned it. He owned that USFL. Team. Trump had a team. That's Canadian football. Yeah, no, no, no. U.S. of Indoor. It was indoor. United States Football League, bro. It was, a, it was an Ali Express. Football. That was the name of Trump's team? That's where Bo Jackson came from. Whoa. No, no, they, yeah, everybody Bo had knows. different teams. Oh, my goodness. I could be wrong, you know. <laughs> that sounds <about> right. <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what high school did you go to? Mm. I got in so much trouble in junior high that they sent me to Catholic school for high school. St. Paul High School in Santa Fe Springs oh, were the swordsmen. Bro, I, I did a, I did a, a comedy show at that place with Rudy Moreno. Oh. The fucking principal was drunk as fuck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Catholic. Trying to make out with everybody, bro. Oh. Whoa, whoa, Lisa whoa. was there, bro. Really? Lisa was there. Yeah. She oh, was happy, bro. You know how people get done. Let me tell you, man. Comedy show makes people, comedy show and wine and wings get um, older people crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the old man had too much wine. It does, dude. I went, that was a nice, that's a big ass high school. No, St. Paul, right? It's not big. In Maybe Whittier? you're thinking of Bishop Amat in no, La Puente. No. no, I went. To, I did a high school there at Whittier, the, the one you're talking about. 
It's not big. We have five yeah. halls. That's it. Oh, Santa Fe Springs. Mm-hmm. Like on the border of Whitty. But then all those cities kind of meet each other in Norwalk, Santa Fe Springs. Uh-huh. So the tri cities right there. SGV, yeah, 562. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they all meet up right So you got a hickey when you were 13? Yes. So I was late coming home. How, and so how of course late? she was oh, like an hour. What it's, then you have to be home? Uh, eight. I got home at nine. It was dark. Eight at night? Yeah. Bro, I, I couldn't you can't stay up be that home. late. No. <laughs> you were an early bird. Bro, it was summer. I, I was, the sun was still <laughs> out at eight. So I could oh, be yeah. home at eight, right? I was early, Same bro. Time, bro. For my having ass. my back. <laughs> I live in a tough neighborhood, bro. We have to be before when the, when the street lights go on. Bro. That's when you gotta go home. The warning, right? Here. Kind of same here. When did you finally get to go out late, dog? <laughs> when my dad just stopped being more of an alcoholic, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. When my sister ran away, we were able to go out. You just walk into the door, bro, <laughs> oh walk over gosh. him. <laughs> what? That's funny, man. Your sister ran away too? Yeah, she took off, and then when all the rules were broken. Did everybody oh. run away after the that? O- the oldest one. Now we just like, we got to do whatever we wanted. No pressure. When I got a job but in high school. But you're a boy. You probably yeah. got to do whatever you wanted. But you run away yeah. to go, go work at China 52. <laughs> <laughs> Station. Telemundo. <laughs> Telemundo. <laughs> No, what were you going to say? Did you run away from home after the, they, they beat your ass? No. Like, See, the thing is, you said that was your older sister, right? Yeah. I was crazy. the oldest. So even though I got in a lot of trouble, I was always fighting, had boyfriends, cholito boyfriends. I was good in school. So my parents were like, what are we going to do with you? You know, I, I, I ran for student council. I was a cheerleader. But after school, because both my parents worked, is when I got in trouble. So all the parents out there, it's really important to keep your kids active after school. After Don't school let them programs. roam the, spree- the streets, mm-hmm. right? Like, I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm all, I don't want to. Yeah. My parents never gave up on me is the point. So I did not run away. My little sister did. Where did she go? Because the younger ones are the trouble. Because you're going to have a, <laughs> one that's going to be crazy, the other one's going to be like a saint. I, Among her. I think the oldest always has more pressure. You have to follow the rules. They're the rebels. I, I, I didn't run away, bro. I just I didn't come home. What? <laughs> <laughs> you what? still had your room reserved. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would see my dad come and I would hide. Uh. <laughs> it's funny when you take off for a long time and they're worried about you. And then you finally come home and beat the fuck out of you, bro. It's like, we couldn't wait to find you to kick your ass. That happened to me, dude. Because I used <laughs> that's to go... A, that's a lesson right Dude, there. I used to go skating for hours. And, like, there was, like, no cell phones back then. So, I, I remember, like, one time me and my cousin left with our neighbor. And then we came back, like, at night. And we were walking. And then my mom was waiting for me outside, like, outside the apartment complex. And she had a smile. Oh. She's like, que bien, cabrón. I'm like, what? A smell. She got, no, a smile. smile. A smile. That's scary. She got her belt, and I thought she was, I, she was, she looked happy because he had a smile. Like, oh, hey, what's going on? And then she got the belt out, and then she started hitting me and my cousin in front of my friend. It was so oh fucking embarrassing, gosh. dude. Yeah, crying. And I, and I used to have a crush on my friend's uh, sister. So. Oh, yeah, crying? No, I, I was, Come I, I had on, a smile bro. the whole time, like, because I wanted, like, like a You know the rules? <laughs> When your mom whispered in front of your friend, you laugh hard in front of her face. Bro. I was laughing, I was like That's smiling, it. and I was so embarrassed, man. I was like, I'm man, sorry. Charlene's gonna know about this dude. But did, <laughs> did your dad ever make you go and get the belt that he was about to spend? I didn't. You? I didn't live with my dad. So. Oh dang! How was your mom, bro? She made her go get the neighbor's belt. Yeah, that- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Señor, are you with me? She- I got a don Don Ramon Cinto. <laughs> That's like mental when he was like, "Go get the belt," and that walk you walk slow you're hesitating hoping he changes his mind by the time you get to yeah never worked so you got whipped i got spanked yeah with a hand or a belt or ironing cord um when my mom beat my ass it was hands and my dad belt mom get jealous because huh, a girl comes in with hickey they want some too huh <laughs> no, oh my no, man, no i'm sure they're, they're, they're of the lifestyle bro deep down inside they want to be a hoe i have dreams but <laughs> Oh, they, they made me, not like that. But you know, deep down inside, you know, your mom has dreams too, but you know what? <laughs> she has to fucking make make beds, bro. I mean, a mí los viejos también me miraban así. Hey, man, you know, her, <laughs> hey, bro, her job was just like the, the mom from Beverly Hills 9021. No, <laughs> that woman was coming out with fucking groceries or leaving with laundry. That's it, dog. <laughs> she had no storyline. No storyline. <laughs> no storyline, bro. No character development, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, no dog. character development. You just got paid. What was your line? Um, cl- clothes are ready. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to fix you something to eat? 
Good morning. That was it. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> so you went to East LA College? Where'd you go? I went to Rio Hondo. Rio Hondo. The, huh? We called it Harvard on the Hill. That's where our cholos go to try to be a fireman first. Hey, my cousin. <laughs> my compadre went there to be a fireman. <laughs> and he's still a firefighter. For who? Eh? LA County Fire, Urban Search and Rescue. Hello. Hell yeah. I have three cousins who are firefighters. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, LA County. You have cousins who start fires, right? I, I do. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, actually, I do. Yeah. Pyro. <laughs> Pyro, yeah. <laughs> el Piro. <laughs> Le llamo el Piro. <laughs> Especially right now with all the fireworks going off for Fourth of July, oh, these yeah. poor dogs. How are your dogs doing? Oh, man, my dogs are like, one of them, they're real old. One of them has one ear, so she can't even hear the doorbell no more. Oh, and, so she's and, not scared. And the other one's not really scared. And we have a rabbit. I see she a rabbit. She gets scared. But my sister's dog, she gets heat. She gets scared, man. Mm -hmm. She goes crazy, bro, trying to run away from the house. They don't get it, huh? They don't get it, Get bro. her some CBD. They have CBD for dogs now. We got my little jacket, you know, to wear. Oh, to snuggle. Uh, yeah, to snuggle. A Raiders jacket? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, but <laughs> he ran away, bro. So, so tell me, bro, somebody wants some money somewhere? In donde? Did I send you something? Oh, yeah, you sent me how, like, uh, what's it called? Let me look at the thing. I was going to tell you earlier. What? A $52 million deposit? Yeah, yeah. Somebody oh. deposited by accident, like, billions of dollars in somebody's account, right? Uh, wow. And then they found out that they spent anything and they just turned it in. Yeah, it though. was a uh, uh, Baton Rouge, uh, Rouge. I can't fucking spell, dude. Baton Rouge. I went to, to Continental School for five years, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you tried, though. $50 billion mistaken in their fucking bank account. Imagine that shit, dude. For how long? Did they get to spend it? I would have cat, dude. I would have cashed it out right away. And bounced, right? Yeah. Like, dude. Ee, like <laughs> Bro, they probably would have saw your your um, dirty ass vans. <laughs> and then they, they would have called. They would, they, would, they, would, they would have held you there, bro. They would have saw that guy Wally Chang, whatever his name is. Johnny's George, in the George car. Wang. Yeah. Johnny, Wally 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 Chang. Johnny with the fucking Ooh. sniper glasses. Wally Chang. Oh my God. They would have saw you guys. <laughs> Looking like one of the DC and, sniper. And they would have asked you the, the same thing they asked Lisa when you deposit money, bro. <laughs> For a social, for the birth certificate, what do you do for a living? Oh my! How you get all this cash? It's Dude, enormous amount of money. Really so bro, you, you can, can I do that? Bro, when you deposit money in a bank, you can go to the same teller every time you go. They'll yeah. ask you. Where you get all the cash from? Anything over like two G's, they start asking oh, you. Right? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Right, they asked me with seven one time. I remember when I told you fucking when I uh, got my money from that McDonald's commercial, it was, uh, they sent That's me right. a, a $20,000 check. And I remember I, I was like, fucking, fuck yeah, dude. And I was at the bank trying to find the cutest teller, you know, like, where's this, <laughs> where's this, you know, I was trying to find her. Like and, McDonald's? Yeah. Hey. So when I deposited my 20 uh, G's, I remember uh, I told you they froze my account for two weeks. Cause they're like, how does this guy go from like being overdraft all the time? <laughs> <laughs> fucking twenty thousand dollars out of nowhere, you know? You gotta clear that shit too. Yeah, they have yeah, to. Yeah. It sucks, man. When I was like owing child support and they would get I would get paid by check, I wanted to kill the promoter, right? <laughs> so they'll give me a check, dude, like for like whatever it was. Then I would go to whatever the bank it has on, like Western Union Bank, whatever. So I'll go to that bank to the and source. I try to cash <laughs> it, he would give another idea. I said, nah man, but you know it's from this bank, you know, you know this dude, he's rich. They go, nah, I'm gonna need another idea, all right? Would you like to open an account? Were you gonna catch my money? Yeah. So I'll open an account, bro, and then wait a, wait till the, the money's in there, close it out. And bounce. Bounce, dog. dog. Yeah. Idiots, bro. Give my money. <laughs> Just that's like, my money. That's like when uh me and Flaco used to do that show Montebello, and then they paid us and they wrote the name Flock on the check, like oh my god, and then that, his, his name's Isaac. And we went to the we went to the that's uh, his name. I thought it was Jose. Isaac Jose Martinez. He has like three names, and four then we, names. And then we went to the the liquor store. Like, bro, come on, he's Flaco. Look at him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he looks Flaco, man. So, I was yeah. waiting for that. We cash checks at the liquor store. John's liquor store on Sloss, no Telegraph Road. Oh, what did, what did, um, what did your they dad do? They knew where to find us if we, you know, <laughs> if it wasn't good. What did your dad do for a living? My dad is a machinist. He went to Garfield High oh, shit. And, and LACC. Am I saying that right? LA, LA. City College, yeah. Lack, lack. No, oh my God, I'm back. Trade Tech. He went to Trade Tech. Damn. I'm going to get in trouble right now. LA Trade School, that one? Yeah. They so, call it Trade Tech. Trade when, <laughs> sure. when your dad was in high school, they had more, more, um, more technical classes in high school, right? Yeah, like they also pushed you 
to like, okay, more traits. You're of, Mexican, so you're not gonna go to college, so learn a trade. Learn like my mom tried thing. to go into, she wanted to go to auto shop, and they told her, oh no no no, you're gonna get Makeup. married, and they Ooh. sent her to home ec, and that was El Rancho High School. Yeah, when I was in high school, they had home ec. Then we got into a fight with that dude Lalo, because his um his mom owned a her his mom owned a fucking lunch truck. I, I, every day I keep fucking with him, but you should be getting an A here, homie. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> home Come on, man. You're going to take care of the family business. <laughs> and I put punch me in the forehead, dog. <laughs> in the forehead. <laughs> right in the forehead, dog. In the you forehead. <laughs> and, I, and I went over there where Miss Ichitani, she had all the eggs. I went over there, bro, and I got a dozen. I crushed them in his head, dog. Oh. And then I started, and we started fighting. Damn. Then when we got to the, we got to the principal's office, the dean, uh, we just uh, we just said that uh, we we made up by the time we went down there. I said, "Listen, man, <laughs> we gotta just tell them that we were horsing around. We were, we were out of hand because finally we're gonna we're gonna get some fucking suspended." And um, this is my third fight, so they, um, they might lock me. Uh, I'm already eighteen, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was 18 already, bro, in high school, dog. Hey, I graduated 19, bro. Oh, fucking up 16 year old, dog. Oh, punching 16 year old in high school, dog. Oh, my God, no. No. Bro. I'm telling you, I graduated. Bro, I will fuck your mom, I would tell kids. I got your 18 right now. I didn't have no mustache, though. I was a super senior, so I graduated at 19. Super a senior. Super oh. senior. I'm telling you, when I went to my last prom, they're like, Woo! Oh, somebody draw a cape on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's so super, he has to do the grade twice. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, we got Clark Kent right here. <laughs> when I went to my last prom, they're like, bro, you got to come as a chaperone, bro. You're fucking an adult, dude. That's... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> I mean, but you got to go. Wait, wait a second. So I just recently hosted, uh, emceed an event in Boyle Heights, Proyecto Pastoral. Yes. And they adore you. This guy's like the legend on that blog, in that neighborhood. Yeah. And I was like, I know him. <laughs> I know him. I have an album signed by him. Yeah, we been, <laughs> since the one last comic standing, we've been donating money to Proyecto Pastoral, oh, Impacto, yeah, Impact. Awesome. And this, wo this, this, um, woman shout this woman shelter for women. And they have a, a, a senior citizen living for only women. You know, like a lot of women, you know, like, I got out of your life, dog. My mom told me there was a woman there, like, in her late fifth, late 63. She was a side chick for this man for many, many years. Whoa. All right? And he had a family. A kept and, and he had a hotel. He had a, she had an apartment. She was set up. As soon as he dies, nothing, dog. Oh, my God. Nothing. Dude. And then, like, the... Whenever she was fighting with the kids because they were going to give her money and this and that. But anyway, bro, she left with nothing now, bro. Her whole life, 25 years, bro, being a side chick. So devoted. So devoted, <laughs> dog. So there, there's a, she's, she's living here now, bro. She's like retired. She's going to get her social and she's going to live in this um, place. So, yeah, we donate to that place, too. So. Well, thank for a, you. A, a lot of older side chicks can go and rest, dog. That's what I'm oh saying. You guys are no greater than a station for side chicks. La Casa de Sanchez. Yeah. Little, uh, side chick convalescent. La Casa de Sanchez. Convalescent. Oh, my God. Like, like, now they don't hate me now. I can't remember the like, last They stayed devoted all these years. We need to help them out, man. You, you got know? it, bro. He is us, helping. Dude. We got to have him, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Well, you got to get that in writing, I That's guess. What's the lesson that? learned? Pobrecita. <laughs> it's messed up, right? They're loyal, bro. Bro, when Lisa was working at the law... Uh, when Lisa was working at this place, she was telling me about this case, bro. And there was a lady, bro, and uh, she was seeing this man for many years. And um, she wanted more, and he wanted to give less, and he wanted to end it, right? But, you know, he's a businessman. He can't put it all in the open, so it's all hush-hush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has signed a letter of agreement. If you want, you let everybody know, bitch, you don't get nothing. Mm -hmm. and the, right? You don't get nothing if you open your big mouth. So she get one little by little, bro. She ended up getting a house. She bought her a house and she kept it, bro. Whatever, and she wanted more, bro. She wanted an allowance. She wanted money to pay for the water. We already have a house, Man, and then all this behind everybody's back. Nobody knows about this. Well, hey, but you know what, bro? She, she don't want to. At least that lady's thinking about herself, bro. She don't want to be go go live in La Casa de Sanchez. Yeah, yeah she exactly. Does. Dude. She knows how to negotiate. She and you know heard what, bro? I don't, I, at Hustler. first, I used to hate. I used to be like, you know what? I was, I was, I wasn't on her side, but now I'm on her side, bro. Why does fool think you're gonna be slick and start another relationship somewhere, bro, and not be responsible? Dude. What kills me is the contract, though. Open your, it's like, you yep. think they're not gonna bro, open their mouth? He yeah. will FedEx, stupid, he will FedEx cash money, bro, on the side. 
What you God? Go. But, but, but California law allows for that, right? Actually, it's, after seven years. Yeah. Oh. Not even. Well, that's together. common law. No, literally, <laughs> if. But you, you could be psyching somebody out, thinking they're living with you. Yeah, that's true. Right, I mean, psychological I have a good friend, one of my best friends. My Don't be lying. Who is it? I can't <laughs> say me. her name. In fact, I shouldn't even say. She didn't even that's know. That's how Latinos always start. I mean, I know, I know. Know. That's how Mexicans always hey, start yeah. talking <laughs> shit about somebody. Get her beard, I can't dog. really say it, but. But this is about the she men I'm eyebrow. talking about. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah? Because she did not know that her father had a separate family oh, until dude. her father passed, passed away. Oh, that always sucks. That so like two sucks families, for everybody. Especially, yeah. I think in our culture, it's horrible but it was I don't think it's accepted it's allowed but not accepted the only way that that thing allowed accept, that's it, a better it's yeah. not even allowed it's the only thing it's accepted if you're paying for it that's yes it. if and you're when, responsible and when you're, done, and when you're done it's all fucked up right like that guy died and everybody pops like up my, you some, have seven brothers somebody and said you can <laughs> do, what you, you do what you want but no 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 as long as you can pay for everybody, like the guy from the Narcos, he had like yeah. three wives, oh, yeah. they're all taken care of. Eh? You think these guys are going to have wills and trusts? Come on, everybody's going to die in probate. I don't think so, man. The, the, exactly. the reading of the bills. Eh? And like, everybody's going to start <laughs> crying, and then you got to go over that, you know, when everybody starts saying Have you, been, have you ever yeah. Come on. been to a, a funeral that, that happened? I have not. I just heard about this one, and I was I felt really bad. Imagine everybody showed up or what? Yeah, the brothers and sisters yeah, showed yeah, up. Yeah, and they all look like, they look like each they other. They were like, treated Wait a like a family, like a Wait second a... wife. Wow. <laughs> you seem double to yeah. you, huh? Wait a minute. And they had to share Two the juniors. property with brothers and sisters that they never knew. And so, and to the, your point, I guess he could afford to have... Two families, right? Uh, Everybody was happy. That's what was my dad, my uh, oh. me and my mom were the first family. Then we somehow became the side family, you know. <laughs> oh my <laughs> yeah. god! My my dad, I uh, was like, let me reboot the family. <laughs> let me try wow. again. Yeah. So his new family became the main family, and then uh, yeah, that's what happened. I think we you guys want just... to go live in the back house. <laughs> I know. I, I barely I barely met my brother and my sister like in 2015 when my sister had her uh, my. Is, Sight, wait, step sister, sight sister, half sister, right? Half sister, sister. is sight sister, sister. <laughs> sister from another mother. And she had a quinceanera, and then like we, uh, so I found out they had, I had another brother and sister, and then yeah, I went to the quinceanera, and it was, it was cool. You guys are cool, like yeah, we're cool, yeah, yeah, that's we're super good. Cool, I yeah. mean, it's not the kids' fault, right? It's I want my dad's house fault. in Southgate. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> oh my gosh! You already <laughs> declared. You're like I, the uh, negotiating lady. That's I've been texting my dad every day. Te quiero, papi. That's I see what's he happening. Do, He's like, oh, right. he, he'll be diving. We're gonna be putting blanket on him. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my house on Tweety. <laughs> it is my it Tweety, bro. On Tweety, it though. is, it it is, is my Tweety. house on Tweety. <laughs> my green spans or what? This it, fool. That house is me Tweety a lot of money. Tweety and Firestone, homie. It's, it's right, right there, bro. No, that's a mean Southgate Street. Don Ramon, aquí. When you were in high school, when you're all into like the the whole high school spirit, like football games, because your dad grew up like that, right? Yeah. Part, part, well, yeah. he didn't play football. But he was part of the. He, grew he, up, he went to high school here. Was his Garfield father high. went to high school too? My dad went. Your to Your grandfather? Um, Mexico no, my grandfather here. was a compis. He, they, my dad was born in Hanford, Central California. Whoa, I've been they were there. farm workers. We've been there. We've done shows there. Yeah. Thirteen kids. Your grandfather has thirteen kids. Here's mm -hmm. another one, bro. And they Same worked woman? the fields. Uh, it was actually my grandma who had more than one husband. Okay, that's pimp. But I mean, my the, my my grandpa it. passed, so it was like survived. Her husband. <laughs> what else is she gonna do? But she had her. My grandma had her first child at thirteen, Damn. and thirteen kids later. You ran away at thirteen. No, me no. You ran away at thirteen. I did not run away. She got hickeys. Don't oh, hickeys at thirteen. Yeah. 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 I'm like, don't start rumors. My mom's gonna come for me. <laughs> prophecy. She's gonna be like, why did you run away? You got away with it. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> So Somebody, my dad moved to East LA at 13. Oh, cool. From Hanford. And yeah. he's one of the youngest. And so he went to, I think, not Stevenson. What's the other one? Hollenbeck. Griffith. I, I think it's Griffith. Griffith. He grew yeah. up on McDonald, the same street as Oscar de Loya. Little reference there. He trained, East right. LA, trying to like, yeah. you know. Anyway, he, start, he and his friends started the Click, the car club. They're the original... Like founders of the clique. What year was like like seventies? This is 80s? like early seventies, oh, like okay, late sixties. Yeah. Oh sure. Antonio Viragosa, he was younger, but he was part of their. Or he's part of the clique. That was back when it was called Tony uh, Villar. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually, for the yeah, before up, he so. got married to. Um, Supposing he has a badass ride, right? Who my dad or Villaraigosa? 
Yeah. 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 yeah they, and they all had like flag football and they played other car clubs and they had parties like how in the 90s, backyard parties, they charged. Like a uh, party cruise. Yep. I remember that shit, dude. Yeah. My dad loves music and sports, which is why I wanted to be a sports announcer. That was my dream. But nobody looked like me, talked like me. And I was told you'll never be on TV. In fact, I was told you'll not go to college. But I, yeah, I did it. I did it the hard way. I had a kid, young and stuff. How old are you? Fuck it. 13, the hate. <laughs> oh, what, are you going to ask me how much I weigh next? <laughs> Damn. So you had your, 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 your child be in high school too, right? Like me or before? I had a daughter young, yes. High school. I had a daughter young. Young? <laughs> we got it right here, man. I'm looking at Facebook. I, I didn't know when I saw that girl, I, I thought that was your little sister. I didn't uh, know, like, I didn't put it together till later on when I went through all the uh, all your Instagram photos. And then, you, <laughs> and then we, we uh, finally on Mushrooms, me and Lisa figured it out. <laughs> that on girl on, that figured took a picture out. with her, Dodger Stadium, is your daughter. Yeah, my Palomita. And she has a baby, right? No. But be lying. No. <laughs> she came home with Hickey when she was 13 too. No. Actually, no. And you know, I don't know if this was told to you, but that, that I was wasn't. so much trouble that my mom, when I had my daughter, goes, aha. Payback. Never. My kid was so good. She's, I would be like, it's Friday night. Don't you want to go to a football game? Like, she was so sweet and just chill. Her demeanor is not like me. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm more trouble. <clears throat> she went to college, University of Hawaii. Then she traveled all over Europe. Oh, that's cool. She did everything that I, you know, that we were not encouraged to do. So I'm like, go, fly bird. And back to, I just want to say, the side chicks, we need to empower more women. And that's happening, chicks. by the way. You see uh, Adriana's insurance billboards. Yeah. And stuff. We need more right women. Adriana, though. No. It's a model. It is no, Adriana. I, I heard it's a really Adriana. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's really her, bro. Oh, she has yeah, a, that's Debbie Deb then. Which I'm is sorry. the one? There's another one. Ah, <laughs> Debbie. I heard she started, <laughs> she started that little business at the, the swap meet. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's pretty like, cool. There's another one more women to have their now. own money. Yeah, I, I forgot who it was, but yeah, they, it's the same. Another one like that. The one with the German Shepherd. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's another Latina, you know? Hey, that's Yolanda's insurance? No, that's not. No, no. That's the lady that shot Selena, though. Oh, rest in peace. She's from Pico Rivera, Lupe Antevero. Are you serious? Yeah, Lupe, the actress. No, 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 the actress. Lupe Antevero. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, damn. The, the oh, no. Shot her not the president oh. of the Selena fan club. Not the <laughs> devil. No. <laughs> damn. And she's still alive, dude. The, yeah. Crazy, huh? That's super crazy. Yolanda, yeah. They're going to jump her when she gets out. Like She's supposed to get out like in five years, I think. I'm surprised. Or sooner, yeah. That things happened to her. Did it, and besides you, did anybody else come out of your high, your, your, your high school and be on television? No, but there is a gentleman who was a couple years older than me. He is Reese Witherspoon's husband. He's an agent. All right. I can't remember his name. Ryan Felipe. <laughs> That's an ex, no? Yeah. Ryan no, Philippe. no, the current yeah. husband. Oh. Um, he, I can't remember his name, my bad, but he is an agent. Like a, you know, an agent. Like a secret agent. Like William Morris or CAA <laughs> or something. Come on. <laughs> 007. In, in my high school? The owner of the Clippers went to my high school and stole to his side chick. Wait, the whoa, the Daniel previous Stern, owner? the previous owner, that slumlord, yes, David Stern, in the oh, class of nineteen forty. No, no, that's the commissioner. Oh, he was class of nineteen forty, <laughs> so thirty something or forty something. Roosevelt. And then she was class of two thousand something. Mickey Cohen, didn't he go to your school too? Yeah, Mickey Cohen went to my what? high school. What? Oh yeah, my he's from Boyle God. High. Yeah, Stern, the original owner, he went to my high school. Yeah. Sterling. 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 That's what it Donald is. Sterling. Sterling. Donald Sterling. Sterling. Yeah, dog. He went to my high school, and then years later, the chick he was busted with, she went to my high school, too. And she graduated in 2000? No. Oh, high school. she went. Yeah. I what didn't know crazy that. Crazy connection. Yeah. It all comes first full circle. And then uh, Felipe Esparza, who didn't graduate from the high school. <laughs> <laughs> Did they meet at the... <laughs> at the Boosters. They met at the East, at the East LA Classic. The Classic. Day. That's what uh, I was going to say. Part of the he Booster showed up with a fur leather jacket. <laughs> and she was on her roller skates. <laughs> The classic. Bro, he showed we up with up a night, He showed up with his high school jacket. Had a radio on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had horses back then. One time at the classic, I was working for Ryan Seacrest um, Radio, and they sent me to. I got to shoot T-shirts out. From the Kiss FM. Uh, yeah, with that T-shirt thing, 
and people went crazy for them. I think we just like free stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying, man, people stuff, lose dude. their people money. People are beyond liking free stuff. Like I'm gonna stop doing this, but I, I normally I go to I go out on my shows and I give away T-shirts. I just throw them out there. But now I've been throwing out T-shirts and I guess they're small. So any, anybody who grabs them, who's not a small, stands in line and tries to change it for another t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, Aww. can I get it? And I'm like, I want to look at her face and go, fuck no. <laughs> oh, my God. You get what you, you, get. you, you get. what you get, lady. <laughs> but then her husband was there begging, man. Like, that his, like he was begging. Like, he was saying, my mija, bro, over and over. Like, it was his daughter. It was his side chick, huh? I said, you I, know, was that, she crying? No, was she, she crying? wasn't crying, but I, I seen that little couple. That that was a weird couple, dog. That was last weekend? Yeah, in Calusa. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to everybody who came out to the show at yeah, the Calusa Casino. Yeah. We did two shows. The first show was sold out. second show was almost sold out. But, man, that show started at 11.30 at night. Anyways, man, Calusa Whoa. Casino represented by ha- having a mean fight after the se- first show. Oh my gosh. It's not a good show if there's no fucking fight after. Bro, there was Wait, two ladies fighting, bro. They were oh fighting over God. the toilet, I guess. Oh, maybe you won't find out that there no. was a side chick. Maybe, oh, man. Someone, cut, maybe someone cut in line because that's like... I, never had, I, saw, I, I saw a fight at the Tempe, Arizona w- w- between two ladies because a, a young woman cut in line with an older woman to go pee. And then when she came out, bro, they... Beat the shit out of her, bro. What about the one we saw? Because we saw a whole bunch of fights. I've been with, I didn't see the most fights with comedy shows at <laughs> your shows. Because the one in uh, Portland, remember the fight? And they ended up being, outside. And they ended up being from Huntington Park, like originally. Originally, in Portland. now they live in yeah. uh, and they Portland. Moved to a band. Portland. Yeah. To take the fights over there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to take the- <laughs> to go start shit <laughs> in another state. I was going to say. And then when we're in Phoenix, improv. Man, that dude was beating the shit out of that chick, dog. Huh? I seen that. That was insane. No, the one with the girl cut in, right? Well, she was young, huh? No, well, supposedly the guy went up there and she was with another guy. Oh, I, I forgot about and that. And they were out there on the lawn on the bottom. Oh, the different one. Yeah. Yeah. She had a side dick. It was yeah. a different yeah. one. Oh, I can't wow. keep all so these many, fights yeah, straight. So many fights, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't balance them. Oh, that's right. He went to do something, and that girl was dancing with two guys, and he, yeah. Yeah. And these are all Chicanos, all Latinos. Yeah. I know there's more. I know there's fucking more fights. Yeah, I forgot. It just all blends in after a while. I guess dude. I've been lucky. I've been to a lot of your shows, and I haven't seen a fight, haven't started a fight, haven't been in a fight. <laughs> oh, you ever been to a, you ever got to a fight in high school? <laughs> oh, yeah. Over dudes? Cholos? You were a chola? I wasn't a chola, but my boyfriend was a chola. You were like that hickey. You like bald like head. <laughs> <laughs> you like bald head dudes, huh? I, actually, he had hair. Yeah? And he would pick me up after school, and yeah. I'd be in my, like, Catholic school skirt and my parents thought Orale. I was going to practice and he came and picked me up <clears throat> Mean play some jazz music and then the story. nuns ratted me <laughs> out they called my parents Fucking and they're like there's an unsavory character picking up your daughter unsavory <laughs> I was like what's unsavory oh, <laughs> I was like 15 what does that mean let me look it up <laughs> <laughs> now I know what it, I learned the hard way <laughs> it means you're not seasoned <laughs> you're <They're> plain <laughs> <laughs> do you have a car bold did he have a car? Yeah. What kind of Badass car? Badass car. 69 in Palm. Damn. Damn, he was a drug dealer. No. His dad's car. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to ask me? Like, <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> he was older, uh, huh? No, you know, what happens in the neighborhood, there's a lot of import-export. It doesn't, it isn't necessarily drugs, you know? What I'm saying. Uh, for real, bro, because I was slanging bootleg cassettes. <laughs> See? I heard to a baller one time that sold horses. <laughs> See? You're talking about horses. Remember? Did you see? It? <laughs> no, did you see the Giddy news up, about the, the the cows that escaped that uh, Pico Rivera? In my hometown, Pico they, shoot one or what? they shot one because it, it was going towards a family. Oh. You know they were escaping a slaughterhouse. A slaughterhouse. I don't know. There's a slaughterhouse in Pico Rivera, yeah. dude. There's a lot of them. Yeah, bro. it's King Taco. <laughs> I. They could have been people's homes. No. <laughs> Although they do have... Didn't they hit one hit a car or something? Yeah, there was yes. 40 that escaped, and they're following them, and uh, what's it called? One escaped, and they didn't find it until like two days later, like in El Monte somewhere. Some bice that tried to steal it. Huh? And, and there's a celebrity that saved <laughs> she that saved, cow. She saved sent that it to cow. A, yeah. a farm for was it? rescues. I forgot the girl. I can't Massey remember Star. her name. Massey Star. <laughs> Massey Star. <laughs> I love Mazzy Star. But imagine th- that's how like Mexican it is. How like they didn't notice a cow was in a monte that wasn't there and belonged there. You know, just roaming around. 
It was They're a lot of high. cows. Fuck it. Yeah, they were like a ton. Carter, oh, dog. Please, dog. Don't fuck some shit up. Yeah, man. dude. It's you ever crazy. see those cars? Dude, we were over there. Like, forgot where Wisconsin, where a dude hit a big ass deer or some shit. Well, I see that videos of a deer <laughs> going through somebody weird shit coming out the back and still running, bro. Well, dude, Chuck Bartell, dude, he, his uncle, supposedly they were in, uh, they're from Minnesota mm-hmm. and uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then he uh, driving through the snow and uh, a deer hit him and it went through the window. And the deer wouldn't stop kicking, and it turned his aunt into ribbons. Speaking oh, of deer, bro, um, crazy, huh? I saw, I saw, oh yeah, shredded her, bro. I saw a video today of a deer that got inside of a Walmart, and this black lady that was working there, she Holy, stopped wrestling she, 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 she yeah. said, that's, like, that's like, you know, you don't get, I, you don't get paid enough to do shit like that. Yeah, that's above no. a pay grade, right <laughs> there. Not that's even lost, not even lost yeah. prevention would jump on a shoplifter like that. Where's OSHA at? Bro? <laughs> and they tell oh, you. Sh- they tell you not to do shit like that because they don't fucking they don't want to get sued. My ability, like that. dog. What did that full kick bro, you in the she's eye? Holding, like that? She's, she's holding the she's holding the the deer down, bro. Like it's a rest, like a person, dude. But they, she looks like she comes from a family that they like, you know, they have them in their backyard and they, you know, they make food. You could talk, bro. Oh. She had put up horseshoes, bro, on horses. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Well, then that's that's what I'm saying, fool. Uh, respect. But, bro, she, was holding, she was talking yeah. to a dude. But, I'll kill you. <laughs> but like, don't make me don't make me a fool. <laughs> but like I said, they don't pay you enough. I remember uh, they don't pay you enough to do shit like that. I would hit him with like a gas tank or something. Yeah, well, you're right, dude. But sometimes you know, as an employee, it, you're it, stupid, dog. Yeah, yeah. But you also, go, you're uh, you jump in and take action. When your you adrenaline should. jumps in because I remember one time I, when I was working at Radio Shack a long time ago. Want to be a hero? Some guy. Was running. I was, he kept asking to look at a fucking laptop, and after like twenty minutes, he just ran. And something in me told me to run after him, and I ran after him. And a car came behind me to go pick him up, almost hit me, and I fell. And the guy got in, and I was like thinking, "Wait, I steal from Ritter Shag? What the fuck am I doing?" <laughs> He's like, what the fuck am I doing? Only I can steal from Ritter Shag. You're on a TV show Double Dare, dog. <laughs> Mean contestant, dog. Shit, yeah. that guy taught me how to steal. Yeah. <laughs> and then the cops told me, why he did taught you... taught me all the tricks. And when the cops came, they're like, you shouldn't even go running after him because what if you guys shot him? Like, bro, like, I when I was working at this job, I remember oh this dude God. was stealing. He was straight up stealing, dog. And he, I was like, I was new hire. Uh-huh. But like, and I say, man, if they catch him, they're going to catch him. They're going to think it was me. So I told him, but he was stealing, dog. And then he like, full touch, will you rat me out, homie? Oh. Will you rat me out? Let me tell you, man. This is not a gang, dog. <laughs> what, where we work at, it, we didn't get jumped into the no this fucking place we work at, bro. You got busted, dog. You shouldn't be stealing here, man. You know, gang rules don't apply here, homie. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He goes, we didn't. When you got, when you didn't get jumped in, homie. He goes, you're a fucking thief, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling that shit on the, on the way home on the bus, dog. <laughs> I was looking at the... But for real, dog, they were going to catch him. They were, dude, they were too close, dude. They were going to catch that fool. Got greedy, dog. Damn. That's what happens when you get caught. You get too greedy, dog. But yeah. you know, every time you get caught, bro, you feel like, man, everybody should go down with me. Yeah. Uh, you start snitching on everybody, uh, dog. Uh, that happened to you, man, when you got they let you go somewhere? No. You go, everybody should go. That is no, actually, man. as much trouble as I got in, I'm paranoid of, of stealing. And I know that's a thing for like teenage girls and to go into a store and, and I was paranoid. I was also afraid you of my mom. Lift? I had to once, yeah. and it was Eyeliner. a cheerleading initiation. I stole glitter from. Oh my god, initiation, bro! Thrifties, remember thrifties before Rite Aid? It was thrifties. Pick and save. No, no. Mama, no. Do you have to steal a helmet to be on the Mayans. <laughs> yeah, bring your bring your own helmet. B Y O A. How cringe you with that story, bro? <laughs> when Momo was talking about that, he got um. He got initiated by the actors on the oh, Mayans, yeah, bro. I know. I don't play spayed. games. I wouldn't play games Snow like that, bro. Hazed. Oh, he got hazed, bro. <laughs> I would have been like this, man. Listen, man, I'm only here. I'm like fucking first daughter, right? Maybe they have me back. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you go to college for um, journalism and all that? Yeah, my dad wanted me to go to law school. Uh, I went later. I went to Rio Hondo. Actually, <laughs> started at Cerritos, dropped out. Mount Sac, dropped out. And then Rio Hondo, I felt at home. Got that Pell Grant and left the business. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't gotta pay back, man. <laughs> Real Honda word for me. Everybody, you know. Did you ever go to USC? Yeah, I transferred. That was my oh, dream shit. school. That's good. You you were uh, raising a child. Mm-hmm. I was working was at Havana House in Uptown Whittier, oh, working lovely. two days a and week Gotham's. in radio in the mornings, and then one day a week at CTV, 
I was a hustler yeah, and a mom TV. You gotta and be going to school full there. time. When I met you, I, th I thought you were working for Ali TV. I did Ali TV as well. That's the first time we ran into each other was at the at the, uh, at, uh, the at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. You were doing an interview, and, okay. then, and then you were doing like a like a story somewhere at the, at the Laugh Factory Latino Night, and um, you had told me, "Hey, I know you did comedy at Walker uh, Gotham's at Walker Yodis." Yeah, I I worked there as well. At Walker Yodis. Uh, it was Gotham when I worked there. Yeah, I was doing stand-up there. I was like there. 17, and they put me in the bar, and it was illegal, and they were... Oh, shit. Remember Hank? I, the Hank, Hank and the family? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they, they were like, oh, you'll make more money here, tired, but man. if everyone asks for your ID, you come see us. <laughs> and she is not lying, bro. <laughs> I made right? a lot of money She is there. not lying. They would, they would hire cool, you man. there. <laughs> There's what? That was cool. Oh, you I know Mel you Garcia? Coke. I've never done nah. coke. <laughs> you, you know Mel? Nah, bro. You know Mel Garcia? Wait, why do he, we know he writes for Paul Rodriguez and he he works for Kel OS with He's Fraser on Fraser's Smith. Uh, radio I, show. I know, I know him. Yeah, you know him. Uh huh. Sunday. He used to date Hank's wife, ex-wife. Oh. In high school. Ex-wife. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dang. I was like, whoa. He's from Montebello, that fool. <laughs> Side dig. Bro, he's from everywhere, yeah, bro. <laughs> dang. This is like a El Monte man. He wrote for K R too. Hell yeah. Dude. Oh so you my worked goodness. At, so I start. I used to see. I used to go to Wild Coyotes back in the day. That's where I first started. Gotham's. I thought the first time I saw you was Steven's Steakhouse and Commerce, no. but maybe it was Gotham. Damn. I used to go in and out of that place, and then later on, I'm Jeff Garcia. Uh, there used to be a guy that used to run it, and we hated him, bro. But he started <laughs> stand-up comedy in Montebello. There? Yes. But he started out with karaoke, and then he would only book like white comedians, bro, because he didn't know shit. Jeez. And um, once we took over, bro, it became the, be the best place ever. Some guy named Ron Williams. I don't know. Like, like some, like, he was like you a know Filo your audience. He was like, Montebello, really? He was, like, he was like a Filipino dude, but he was killing it at karaoke, though. Really? Yeah, man. And then Jeff Garcia took it over, and then he, he got into a fight on gay night, and then Willie took it over, and then Willie disappeared, and <clears throat> I took over. Yeah. Hey. 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 Legend began. <laughs> that was like the late 90s, early 2000s? And then the pervert in the bathroom began. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking around. So like, you were Mano, like <laughs> when you were working at Montebello, man, it was busy that place. It was huh? so busy. I made really good money. It allowed me to only have to work a few days a week. That's insane. Tips. And I worked again, radio, cable, kid, were full time you, student. Were you working there when you had the white top or the black top? The white top you used to tie up right here to show your stomach. I'm so old. I had a, a French maid costume. Yes, that was a white. Remember top. the rif the ruffles in the back? Yeah, that was the white top. My dad hated it. Yeah, that he was, was the white like, top. You're going to work. The ruffles. <laughs> yeah. For real, bro. The it white was like top Halloween with the ruffles. Every day. <laughs> I'll be it back with like, a hickey. Eh? It's yeah. like the restaurant wasn't, wasn't even the tilted kilt, bro. Yeah. But they would have that that thing, and it was like when you when you would hold the drinks, you could see up, bro. Well, I mean, you can see up, but I would see like, there'd be a lot of pervert dog. It's yeah. all part of the whole thing, dude. You know? They'll be grabbing but your leg, dog. I was little, thank goodness. So it was like down, like not up. Like, That's why I <laughs> love doing that place. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheaters. A lot of regulars. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think those regulars still go there now? Probably, right? One Armenian guy, bro. That, who's <laughs> that old ass fool? The mechanic. Nah. What's his name? Gargamel. <laughs> Gargamel. Aww, Gargamel. I went to his house. Yeah. The, the blind fool? No, his, his cousin, bro. You know, I had an auntie who was oh real God. religious, and she would not let us watch the Smurfs because she said it was the devil and they were dead. Satanic, I heard That's that. why they yeah. were blue. I never even associated the Smurfs with no. dead What are the color with Smurfs? Be, they're just though. crips. <laughs> 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 they wearing red hats, though. Which made us only want to watch the Smurfs more because as soon as you tell someone, you can't do yeah. it. <laughs> What's up, fool? <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Credit Karma. Credit Karma has always been there to help you make better financial decisions. Now they want to help even more. With Credit Karma Money Spend Account, you can be rewarded for good money habits. Credit Karma Money is a brand new checking account where you can win cash reimbursement just for making purchases. Who else give you money for spending? Funds? When you use your <laughs> credit card comma, when you use your Credit Karma Money debit card, you can win daily instant karma purchase reimbursement just by using your debit card on items up to 500 thousand dollars if you win you'll be notified on the spot and your instant karma cash will be added back to your spend account the spend account is free to set up no minimum balance requirements no overdraft fees and you get free withdrawals from a network of over 50,000 ATMs hey they might have one in your supermarket great karma money progress starts here Rodrigo take over the yellow part 
Yeah, man. <laughs> so call right now. Visit creditkarma.com slash win money to open your free account and start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Instant karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MV. B Bank Incorporated. Credit Karma is something I needed back in the days. Yeah, man. Yeah. Member of the FDIC, maximum balance and transfer limits apply. That's what I needed back in the day, bro. When they were looking for me, bro, I used to my place with Nick Cashing, bro. Everybody falls into that trap and then you mess up your credit, bro. Bro, you know how much they charge you, bro? Nick Cashing, they're thieves, bro. Yeah, what, at least what, 8%? Yeah, man. Then they, they tell you on the way out, don't buy ice cream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's bad. It might as well, bro. I don't know how to spend it. You're taking most of it. Like if you're catching an eight hundred dollar check, they'll take a little at least eight dollars. Fuck no, no eighty. No. Oh, fuck, that's yeah, off a of G, dog. Damn. Upcoming shows, July second and third. This weekend will be at Royersford, Pennsylvania, at So Joe's Comedy Club Dome, Tempe, Arizona, July 9th through the eleventh at Tempe Improv. Almost sold out. All shows are almost sold out, man. It's gonna be a badass show. Chuck Bartel, Rodrigo Torres, Martin Rizzo. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Addison, Texas. Are you with me? July 23rd to the 25th at the Addison Improv. Keith Manning, get off the field. Martin Rizzo, Rodrigo Torres. This show is almost sold out. San Jose, California, July 30th to August 1st. These tickets are going fast, people. Also, just went on sale. Spotlight 29 in Coachella. Ooh. Oxnard and Brea. Open more seats, so there's still tickets available for that. Eh? Nice, all right, man. All right, <laughs> all right. All right, all right. So when you're growing up, man, like what what club do you go to? Well, I used to go to QC. Man, man, let me tell you, man. QC. When I came out of rehab, bro, I was ready, dog. The nineties, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I was going <laughs> Monday, <laughs> said, Monday night. I took a break. Tuesday night, I used to go to uh, Tasty Tuesday, bro, at uh, Quiet Cannon. Quiet Two for QC's one to get in. 2020. Took a break. Wednesdays, I would go to, I, would, I forgot where I went, but there was a club I used to go on Wednesdays. Thursdays, I would go back to Quiet Cannon, bro, for two for um, for um, for th Thursday Thursdays, bro. Wow. What was Camacho's back in the what day? About was it Thursday th th Luminarias. What's it called? Oh, that that, that fucking uh, baby does. Baby that. That's Sunday night, dog. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and, uh, and if you want to go for brunch, you go there in the afternoon. That's what I was thinking. What was brunch? Camacho's back in the day? When did that come? That was out? Sunday night, dog. What about Peppers? <laughs> Damn, Pepper. That was Friday night, but my that, mom that was a little too far from there for me. But um, and then uh, Friday night I used to go to Caddy's, bro. <laughs> right there, but you hook up on um, fucking Asian chicks who like Mexicans, bro. Woo! All right. Hell yeah. Score for Where's you. Caddy's? Saturday. <laughs> huh? Where's Caddy's? Caddy's at? was right there on set by, by, um, fuck, man. What is it? Caddy's. Caddy's. I don't know Caddy's. Caddy's is over there. They call it Caddy's, but it's not really called the Caddy's name Caddy's. It's over there on, um, but Telegraph? No, 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 man. Look at the Pico Downey. Eh? But Steven is by, by, by the hat on the other side. Alhambra? Alhambra. Oh, okay. So like Monterey Park. Yeah, there's a golf Alhambra. course. Alhambra. There's a golf course <laughs> in that area by an Alhambra. They call it Caddy's. Okay. And that was Friday nights. Nice, but they have three rooms. Then, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Three rooms, dog. Well, what about that one spot in uh, West Covina? What was it called again? West Covina. Uh, Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse, bro. That one spot. And then uh, I used to then. go to uh, fr Saturday nights. We used to go to the Rio, I think, in uh, Santa Monica. Damn. Wow, Santa that's Monica far. Boulevard. Damn, dude. Our friends like going out, bro. Hell yeah. Did just you guys along. ever cruise? Hell no, man. We were, we were barely like eight people in one car. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. Because that was the Where you used to go, where you lived, I know the club where you used to li where you lived at, but I never go there because they were far. It was uh, Moose, Ma Ma Moose McGullicuddy's. <laughs> Uh, um, that um, at Black Angus over there. There's Maggie's Shout. Pub. Maggie's Pub in Maggie's Pub Santa is Fe. still there. Peppers, yeah. bro, Fantasia. Peppers, I've been to, but Bruce's I was lounge. I was working with Big Boy his morning show when we went there. I had a kid and I worked. I didn't go to a lot of clubs. I hear all these stories. Before about you had clubs. the kid, though, you were sneaking in with a fake ID, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I've never been a club girl. I like dive bars. That's and I cool. like uh, sports. I go to games. That's my. But I'm not a, night, a nightclub girl. I was going out, dog. <laughs> Sounds like you had like the I'm schedule. Fired, Did you dog. have your own plan at dog. the bar? Like this is Felipe's bars. So Tuesday <laughs> were the nights you took off. At Tuesday night, bro. 
Rest day. <laughs> no, I will go to I will go on Tuesday. Quiet County. No, he oh said, yeah. He said Monday was rest. Monday right? was yeah. <laughs> it was tasty thir- tasty Tuesdays, bro. And then and it was two for one to get in. Tasty and um Thursday wet Thursday nights at Quiet Cannon was um free to get in before midnight and it was dollar drinks till midnight. Damn. Oh, so let me tell you, let me tell you huh? dog. My friend BB, Ruben Hadegi, that motherfucker is cheap, dog. We will get there, bro. <laughs> well, this will take che- cheapness to the next level, dog. <laughs> like, we we'll go to Caddy's, and he would not want to pay. So, therefore, we'll go to the golf course with a golfer and then jump into the club, bro. Wow. Oh, my God. Before they open, bro, they just uh, wave that security guard. <laughs> and quite Cannon, clothes? too, dog. Yeah. Quite Cannon, like, he would go there, like, when they're having, like, a lunch, and then come out of the bathroom, bro. Like, he. For the club, he was oh. at the gopher and caddy like, shack. Yeah, like, like sneaking inside. <laughs> bro, like, like, like the so guy guys that's from cute. Home Alone. He's I was security. <laughs> I was security guard at Quiet Cannon you for did? New Year's Eve once, bro. I needed money, bad, bad, and man, I was making more money letting people out the side door when the ladies caught him. You're lying. Damn. Bro. I had the side door on the bottom by myself. Then this good-looking guy with blue eyes came down. This Mexican dude. He goes, "Hey, homie, can you let me out, eh?" My chick's about to get let me bust it, but you this, you're, this is not your chick. Hell no! And I forgave me forty dollars, but I let him out. Oh my god! Oh my dude, god! That's a hustle right there, dude. And then like, and then like this, do I get in with five chicks? And he gave with like a bunch of people, and he gave me like eighty bucks. I let him in. Nice. So I was letting people in and out. Eh? That's so good money now <laughs> for the dude. right price. <laughs> Doorman hustle right there. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Sometimes I would like I, I'll find a hustle, bro. Like. I'll smile it out and I start making <laughs> money, dude. One time I got I got sent home from Dodger Stadium because they were they had enough workers and I didn't have an, enough seniority in a union, so I, I just stood down there bummed out with the scalpers. And then this car drove by, and he goes, "Hey man, um, he goes, are you looking for tickets?" I said, "Yeah, I'm I'm trying to get in." He goes, "Yeah, well I got four extra ones if you want them." So he gave me four extra tickets, four free tickets, bro. They were like loge. Yeah. Then nice. somebody came and they wanted tickets. Then I just sold out four of them, bro, for 60 bucks. Nah. Okay. And then another dude came dude. by, he gave me two tickets, bro, prime, home, like, yeah. field level. And they were worth like $150 each. And the guy, I, gave, I sold them to another guy, both of them for 100 dog. All day. I was there for yeah. two hours. I walked into Dodger Tenor with 220 bucks. That dude, nice. that's so good. Man. And I, I didn't know that I could have got busted went to jail for doing all this. I, well, I mean, you, they gave them to you, you free. You go to jail if you do this inside Dodger Stadium. Really? It's totally illegal. But outside Dodger Stadium, they don't care. Oh, okay. This but those people you see, that. I didn't know that, but those people you see scalping, they show up with no tickets. So they're asking... Um, I need tickets. I need tickets. So, sign. so Rodrigo's there with three extra tickets, three idiots didn't show up. He wants money. He'll give him whatever money he got for it. He'll yeah. 60 bucks for all three of them. Need Boom. Some for more. Flip them. So I flipped them, bro. Damn, Why do you think dude. they gave you tickets? Did you have like an innocent look? Was it your curly cues? Okay. I mean, they're giving him free tickets. Like that's Probably because they're like on the way in the Dodger Stadium and they want to get rid of them. And yeah. you just were right yeah, there in the I was right, right place. Right there, man. Right, I was right there on Legion Park Avenue. Right nice. time, right fucking, yeah, right spot, right time, Dang. dude. She was at the Dodger game at, at Houston, where, where the one where Joe Lopez bought me tickets for. Oh, yeah? That's right. This guy, man. Game five, bro. <laughs> 15 innings. The game that had least at the edge of her feet. <laughs> Hating umpires all night. <laughs> How long was that game, man? Forever. And we had to wake up early in the morning and broadcast from there, so it was like no sleep. Well, she was I, that night, that day. I had flown in from um, some show I did in New York. I guess I did um Car- Fort something, Fort Fort Drum, Fort Drum in um, in New York is a little fort in Brooklyn. And then Joe Lopez goes, "Hey, man, you want to you want to go to a Dodger game?" Sure. Who I got to kill? You want my kidney? <laughs> yeah. The day of? Yeah, the night before. So he bought me nice. tickets, bro. The second row behind the Dodgers. Badass seat. So I could high five Kershaw if I wanted to. Yeah. This was like in 2018? Yeah, man. Yeah, the, so, and then, the year they stole it? Yeah. The and then she was cheated. there. Bro, she was there <laughs> from probably noon, right? Yeah. So the game ended. Like so a, the game ended. Hustler, bro. Just in the heat it was Sudano. fucking hot that day wow. and they were like grabbing interviews too we're bothering people and Dodger fans are, yeah it was it was. but I wouldn't have traded it for the world I mean let me tell you city. man when I checked into my hotel room what's the first thing I saw 
I saw the same scalpers that you see outside Dodger Stadium. They All of them. fucking travel. Uh, travel? Every single one <laughs> of them. That black dude that looks all dirty with a dirty hat. Those two lanky fools that, that are brothers. And that, all, that real tall fool, Mike. They must have traveled together, man. Bro, they, they were there, there bro. They making drove. money. That guy was trying to give me... He, he tried to give me a ticket for the World Series, but I just did it, but only one. <laughs> oh, you were going to sit by him. He just wanted to sell one. <laughs> I need me a little partner. Yeah. But they, but they were there, man. Everybody was making money. Dude, Wait, that no. shit does not end, dude. That is like a traveling car. Bitter uh, year, bitter. How much? Did you go to the World Series at Dodger Stadium too? I did. I went to every game last year, right? Last, so Boston and Houston. I was working, and that's how my last channel, my former channel, got me to leave my previous channel because they promised me we're gonna let you do Dodgers, we're gonna let you this, and we're gonna give you more money. I never wanted to leave that first station, but how can you pass that up? Yeah. So I went. Dodgers. And I got to go, and I got paid to go, and I had never been to Fenway, and that's like on my bucket list to see every ballpark in the stadium, I mean, in the country. So everything, it was just amazing. But I couldn't, like, puro party like you and George, I was working. <laughs> I was working, and I, I would do it again. And I was there in Fort Worth. I got to see Urias and the Dodgers win, and I cried like a little. I cried too at home. <laughs> I, said, but I wish my dad was here. That was last year, 2020? <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah. last year. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah I remember. it was like. So amazing. you got to be there at the when they won mm -hmm. at the COVID game. Mm. Last year, right when they won the World Series. Was it COVID? That yeah, was COVID. Yeah, yeah twenty twenty. Yeah, I remember Damn, the fireworks. Texas don't shit. act like it. No, it wasn't there <laughs> though, right? It didn't feel like <laughs> COVID. <laughs> but they were having other games there, like. It had to be. They were, not just the Dodgers were playing there, but everybody was playing there, right? Because it was very. Oh, uh, was the, the rules were different there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, you're right. That's right. It wasn't like we were playing Texas, but it was in Texas. Texas yeah. The playoffs, basically, right? Until yeah, it was like their version of the bubble, I guess. How about exactly. playoffs game? Were you there working the playoffs? Like when mm -hmm. the Lakers were hot? No, I didn't get to work Lakers. But I worked Lakers prime when time? I was younger. You were working prime time, huh? When Magic was there? <sighs> no, I'm not that old. <laughs> He's trying to trick me, see? <laughs> yeah, there were Lisa Guerrero, I saw you. <laughs> oh, I love Lisa Guerrero. Hey, she's the one who started like the Latinas being in Hell sports yeah. right before Lauren Sanchez. She did the best damn sports It was show tough. With John Sally and all those guys. It, 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 was, it was tough to be a, a, a woman in sports, period. I saw a cool documentary about women in sports. You weren't even allowed in the locker room. Like, you had to beg to be, like, they wouldn't even want to look at you and... Um, it was tough, man. Like, cause I, I, it was a man, a white male dominated um, business. So they, 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 like, whenever there was a fight, all the men were in the locker, in the locker, but the women were not allowed inside. She'd be lucky to get an interview with a fucking, um, with a cut man on the way out. Damn, dude, <laughs> no, for crazy. real, it was tough. Like, I, I think uh, one woman, she was, she was, um, she was granted one interview by somebody, and that would really made her famous at the end of the game. There are some badass women covering sports, but they still have a long way to go. Hell it's yeah. still not, you know, equal representation, especially because women's sports are blowing up too. So. Yeah, man, we're gonna like we're gonna see a LGBTQ whatever, um, holy holy being a sportscaster, bro. Do it, yeah. I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, once uh, what Olympics, right? Dude, once skateboarding hits Olympics this year. And do women skateboarders? Because because oh. it, it, the thing about like you know like a traditional sports women, it's still like they're not like included like how it is. But skateboarding, dude, they're good. Huh? Women skateboarders, are f it's insane, dude. They're up there with the guys, so it's, it's like, like snowboarding. It's in a, it's in a, they're treated better. It's gonna change the game because it's like a lot of like I'm telling you, I remember going to a skate park and just seeing these girl professional skaters, and bro, like all the guys would just sit down because they couldn't keep up. Who's this old pervert watching us? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> But it's just, but it's just that's there. That's my father. But that's just the thing baby. about. But that's just the thing about just skateboarding. You know, it's just like the women skateboarders are like up there with the guys. You know, so when uh, skateboarding hits the Olympics this year, it's gonna change the game. Nice. See, nice break, plug for the skateboarding I at think the Olympics. Breakdance is gonna be in Olympic sports too. It is right. Yeah, that it would is, be yeah. bad. I would not be mad at that. Yeah. How about dude. some pop locking? Yeah. <laughs> MC Pancho. You send him through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, really quick. I just want to ask your opinion on Bauer and the news that dropped. Because we were talking Dodgers and the whole like. Uh, Don't you, you ask the uh, Pasadena Police Department? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to come out with a news conference tomorrow. I just well, feel uh, like. You were caught with something, right? 
Not no. There are allegations. There right? are allegations of forward, assault. Right? That like what she Who's, didn't agree with. What happened? A woman. I don't know. He bro. had he had news. he had uh, relations with a woman. She's from San Diego twice. This is just allegedly, and she asked allegedly for rough sex, and he obliged. And his lawyer claims that it was consensual. But she ended up going to the hospital, and then I think she got a restraining order. That's the problem. That's the problem, and man. So when you ask for rough sex, you gotta initiate a safe word first. Ah, the safe. You gotta say the safe word, bro. What for, would your safe word be? For me, man, <laughs> I, I always stop. Nine one one. I always stop when I hear deeper. That pretty much hurt my feelings, man, and I, and I quit. <laughs> Who are you? That hurt my I, feelings. That pretty much made me want to stop and. <laughs> Start writing letters to my dead rabbit. I hope it's not true. <laughs> well, if it's true, what would your safe word be? What me? I would yeah. even I would even go there. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing: is homeboy's famous, and like you know, you got to deal with that shit. You know what I mean, somebody you wants to. You have to you know, you know, what, know by uh, now you're a mark, right? right? Exactly. So whether you know, or not it happens, it sucks it's like, if, dude. Yeah, it sucks if you know if it you dude. know if that's how it went. But I mean, <laughs> we have everybody a, is famous. We have a mutual friend, about. comedian. Who the, the same thing happened to him? Like he had rough sex on a first date with somebody, and then later on, she when they, all this thing was coming out, she brought it out there, and and then it came out to T.J. Miller, bro. And then like and then it made him look bad for a long time, but it was just consensual sex. He just got a little rough. Yeah. Well, I think what happened with him, like uh, huh? later, you know, it was something from the past, and they get mad that you're doing well in the future. It could be something like yeah. vindictive like that. You never know, you know. Well, this was recent, and and so yeah. allegedly he has. Uh, it was his girlfriend. That's how boring. Sex, oh, it was yeah. his girlfriend. It was T.J. Miller's girlfriend. No, this woman Bauer saw her twice, so she came back after the first night of rough sex. Yeah. So maybe the second time he pushed it too far. <laughs> I don't know. She, she probably just, told him. I, um, throw some fast both of me he was fucking them all up <laughs> throw some I wanna I'm see her. your slider and she was fucking them all up bro <laughs> or she still she, he might have given her a catcher's memo to hold this fa- <laughs> hold this fucking mid while I throw a fast ball Boy, you. I'm laughing I just mm-hmm. hope it's not true I hope it's you know a lot of I used to work with a former NFL player and he said he had to OG. settle <laughs> no <laughs> uh, we went to USC but the not at the juice. same time <laughs> Um, I don't even know what I was going to say now I'm all flustered with the OJ reference I get all nervous because now you're going to bring up Bill Cosby and shit like, <laughs> he got out eh he's, he's, I know. for real bro he's going to kiss me tell you, man, tonight bro I saw more <laughs> oh my God. I saw more free free Britney pose than I ever seen in my whole life yeah but like the universe said Bill Cosby yeah isn't that, that true is it crazy huh but um when you read when you read really happened, man, they, it was just all political. They railroaded this guy, even though he really did it. Wait. <laughs> they railroaded him, even though he really did it. Yeah, because uh, what happened, bro? Read it, tell us. <laughs> Not from what I understand is uh, it's a DA is an elected position, a district attorney, and he had a deal with him that um, they won't prosecute, but he has to give his uh, sworn testimony on what happened with the alleged victim. Just one it, of them, right? Yeah. But you, he, uh, you aren't allowed to invoke your Fifth Amendment, Amendment right. And he said, like, four things that were really, like, you know, had him in, like, you know, pretty much as an aggressor or a victimizer. And then he, uh, they pro- then the new DA came in, and they prosecuted him on the testimony that's supposed to be withheld. Oh, okay. So that's why when his lawyers appealed, they brought out the mistake and then he was it's able cause to. because he had a deal on. with the prosecutor yeah. beforehand. But, that, those but just, it doesn't mean he didn't do it. Yeah, no. well, it's, it was still, you know, supposedly, you know, he hasn't had a trial for that. And in I don't want to get anyone right. upset out there. We can't get tried again for the same thing. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, 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 all, it's messy. Pudding. But the thing is, it's that's a position of privilege and money that he got. You know what I mean? Yeah. And most people, you and I ain't going to get that. I mean, and oh, Brittany, you would have got a, oops, we made a mistake. Brittany got denied <laughs> I today. In the first place. Huh? <laughs> Brittany got denied today. They're going to keep her father as a conservator. That sucks. That went down today. That's what one of the big old things is, right? Like, how could he even, like, you know, take care of that? I feel it's that? like a, t- it's a team that's... Well, it's because I think they have a lot of money. It, oh, yeah. You know, they have a lot of money. <laughs> so they don't want to lose their money, And right? they put her on an allowance. And it sucks. And then she, they're treating her like a little but caged how, animal. I, I know. I mean, but how much is allowance? I'm just curious. Well, with that kind know. of money, I don't know. Yeah, right? Might be public, might be private. Because <laughs> I heard that she, like, had a house in Diamond Bar when I was younger. And then she, like, doesn't wash her underwear. She just buys new underwear every day. Oh. Britney Spears. Oh. Well, I mean... 
You've been reading Wolf, Rachel Wolfson's post. <laughs> Rachel Wolfson. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, sure that that? that's the first time I ever heard of free Britney. <laughs> I, I, oh with from Rachel Wolfson. I thought she was locked up for real, dude. No, Rachel. She's trying to confused. get out of uh, the yeah, circumstances. Yeah, her dad's uh, thing, yeah. <laughs> But he got her when she was all mental, though, right? That's when he came in when like she was in Okay, but what right? came first? The, the chicken. Yeah, because oh, the egg. I'm sorry, right. they put her on drugs, like lithium and stuff. Mm. So it's like, what came mm. first? Did the, did It's just messed up. Well, you and I to deal with that mega fame? Come on. Well, it doesn't help that Fucking your own family toast. is supposed to protect you is also keeping you loaded. Yeah. You're right about that. All that fame. Question, though, and right? forcing, her, though, forcing her to, to have an IUD. Yeah, man. Because they didn't want any more, uh, you know, kids coming from dancers or the gardener. <laughs> oh, my God. Because anybody's in there stabbing that shit, huh? I feel like I'm really betraying women you're, today. You're right about that pressure. <laughs> There's two sides to every story. There I, my, is. My video went viral a couple weeks ago, and I, I couldn't take the pressure, even though I wasn't. I didn't get any money, you know? <laughs> what, what, what video, dude? Yeah, tell us. I, I did I a video. Kind of missed it. I was seven, it got 22 million views. What? And they had another one that uh, hit 5 million views. <laughs> And I just kept getting a whole bunch of. <laughs> I couldn't handle the pressure. Like what the fuck? Even though I wasn't getting money, you know. Well, your phone was being. <laughs> what happened, bro? They were, they were... It died, fool. What's going on? What pressure, dog? I don't know, no, but it's just everybody no, asking around or what? Yeah, yeah. There's no pressure, but it was just like it's just like, you, like all these views. You know, it's crazy because like, I, like even though I didn't like care, even though nothing, even though nothing happened, I was just like, what the fuck's going on, man? So I, you guys wanted two million, but nobody followed you for no twenty-two million. I got I got eighteen thousand followers from that fucking video, dude. It was insane, dude. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And wow, like, congratulations. And it finally it, it happened like two weeks. It was that Miami video, so it finally slowed down like Miami five video. days. Ago, the bell one, ding 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 ding, the one that I ring the bell, like boxing. You know, it was like a. It says ring for sex. Oh, oh. yeah, I did that threesome with Adam Murray. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, why? So that cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, do I need to look no, this up? No, Let me no, see. <laughs> yeah, Florida man <laughs> gets involved. But it's just like you're like, what the fuck's going on, dude? It was crazy. Which video was it? This one, I'll show you. But that video went viral, and then I did another video that went viral too, uh, where I, I put that Disney filter on. Let me see. Mira, mira, mira. Or that you little, this one. Some counseling, this though. one right here. Right here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I know, dinner. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a oh. good. That's a quick, fast video. How yeah, it was a it? quick. This one got. Uh, I'll tell you right now. It has a. Uh, is it labeled like ring for sex? It just ring of fire. So that way, I mean, is that what I have to do? Like, so it has sex to get like million, <laughs> it has twenty four million views. I'm, right, I'm taking notes. <laughs> Is your phone going crazy, dude? It, it just kept going crazy, so I had to turn it off, and I I gotta. So it went through it, th it went through phases. First, it went through a whole bunch of like uh, Portuguese like comments. Wow. Yes. Then English comments. Then yes. the, the ending was just a whole bunch of Indian guys. Yes. Like whole bunch of Indian followers, and I was yes. like. Yeah, when, oh I remember God. my joke went viral, and it first started hitting Australia, like eleven thirty at night. Uh -huh. Australia, um, New Zealand, and, they were waking it, up. You learned the time, and then yeah, all yeah. over Europe, <laughs> and then finally people in America woke up, like New Year's Eve, late yeah. on the joke. <laughs> but that time it was played out. Yeah, it, I like, know. It, it, it died out with the Indian <laughs> people and a whole bunch crazy. of crazy, and a whole bunch of Indian people were just messaging me. <laughs> I'm like. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. How much for the lady? How much for the bill? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, tag, tag the place of the bill. I'm like, I don't know. It's somewhere in Miami, dude. Do you really, oh think, it, do you really think there's a place like that? Oh, my God. Oh they, my they, God. they kept like, they were like. Uh, hashtag Vishan. Yeah, Vishan. Yeah, I'm like, Vishan, where's this place at? But yeah, that one, it got me 18,000 followers. It was and crazy. the other one, how much views they have? So I, I did a video where I put the Disney filter on a porno. Uh, you know, like the one on Snapchat? Yeah. And then uh, it got 4 million views. And... Instagram finally took it down because like they Weak. said it was like I know it was like porno you know or it wasn't even porno I didn't show any fucking but it anything was filtered. naked it was filtered <laughs> yeah yeah I'll, I'll find it right now I'll Disney show, uh, what like what kind of Disney filter it was a Disney filter where you, where you look like you're like a Pixar Disney, character uh, this one right here porno plus yeah oh my god oh, I use oh the my god face. that's frozen oh I like that ah, you put the face ah. <laughs> that's funny eh? So I, yeah. so I used the I actually used It's not the, my favorite Lisa Not my favorite <laughs> And it, it got 3 million views And people were asking me Where's the link Alan? It's fake bro Oh my, oh my god. god Perverts dude <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm like, people kept asking, hey, where's the, people are messaging me, dude, where's the link at, dude? Like, it's Those fucking, nasty. yeah, <laughs> dude. You're like a porn um, now. I know. When, <laughs> let's get back to the news. Uh, what, <laughs> I never hey, want I want to know, no, I, I do want, not I have a Snapchat for porn. I, I want to know what, because I know what you, 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 you are. You, we're practically, you're, you're like a little bit younger than me, but we grew up, you know, like, in a, like you know. Probably the same age. Yeah. But I want to know, like, you know, like when Snapchat started, when Instagram started, when Twitter started, all that stuff. And, and like, the news changed. Because mm -hmm. now you, you are no longer a newscaster. You're going to be a social Everything. person social how media. did the older newscasters deal with it because we're young we, we, we just said yes okay. to everything it's very interesting because I was caught in the middle the of middle. that transition yes so all of the older uh, anchors and reporters who were making a lot of money had a lot of you know Ron Burgundy saw kind of a big deal like <laughs> they resisted they didn't want to do it but even before that I was already kind of I had a great Twitter mm -hmm. presence yeah I remember the day Mike Tyson followed me. That was like, I was so proud. They were like, no, we own you. You're part of our this station. Your Twitter, huh? Their this, Twitter now, huh? They took it over. And then when I left, they took it. I did not have a lawyer or an agent at that time. But my, my, my point is, is I was already doing it because it was fun and, and yeah, interactive. Yeah, it's fun. We love it. And it was, Instagram wasn't even big yet. It was uh, Facebook, Facebook and Space. Twitter. And Twitter, yes. No, not even MySpace. Vine. It was Twitter. Vine and was and Twitter was breaking news, and they were really resistant. Like, we got to check yes. the source, which is the old school way they're doing. But no, Twitter's still, like, where you find breaking news. Yeah. Now, the news uses, they have their own, you know, uh, they have their own Twitter accounts and stuff. Mm -hmm. But back then, I, I was there for the transition into validating social media. So I didn't know I signed my life away that uh, my next contract, like, yes, you own my Twitter and my uh, and my Facebook. Thank goodness I didn't write anything about Instagram because it was just starting. But they started from that to, no, you can't do it. it, it uh, it's too much. You got to be about the station. We're the brand. Then they turned it around. Like, no, you're the brand. We need to see you at home. Oh, we need wow. to see you with your dogs. We need to see you cooking. We need to see. And, and before, when you were done with work, you just got to go home. That was, yeah, the good old days. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, the older anchors hated it. I know, too, a very, very popular weather person paid somebody to do it because they started forcing us. They started even giving us emails like, you need to do one Facebook a day. A couple of tweets a day, oh my and God. we'll leave you alone. Is that Johnny? But Mountain? you didn't make extra money or anything. And then they brought in more people to do the social media because that's the future, anyways. The linear TV is going away, mm -hmm. so streaming is everything. And now it's a complete reversal. And now, I, so when I left that station to go to my former station, my most recent, I was like, it was the first time I had an agent. He's like, you signed your accounts away. I said I did, and yeah, they. I feel like they might have tried to put someone in my place, but no, like I am, um, me. Clone like, you, huh? <laughs> they put yeah. like a Disney princess there? Like, no, it's me. Get the filter. And so then they just deleted them. And I had to start over at zero on Twitter and Facebook, which was heartbreaking. Um, but Instagram I got to keep, but now it's part of the job. And now the way news, especially after the pandemic, they're not paying, corporations bled. The, think of the two major stations in Los Angeles. They have theme parks. They make movies. Disney. Uh, yeah. Warner Brothers. And um, NBC. NBC. Yeah. They have theme Universal. parks. Universal. So Star, yeah. That's someone has to money. pay for it. It's not like yeah. the boardrooms are going to pay for it. So now I tell everybody, you know, I, I speak to children. I mentor. I'm out in the community all the time. And the one thing I tell them is you have influencers that don't go to broadcasting school, that don't go to journalism school. They don't go into debt because America uses students as cash cows now. Yeah. It's surpassed credit card debt, student debt. Internships. And it never yeah. leaves. Oh, definitely intern, but Even before that, I tell them, don't wait to go to school. Now start your own channel. Don't wait. Don't and, wait. And if you sign with the station, know that you're not going to get paid. The, the local news especially, no one makes money anymore. <laughs> Not like it used to be. No, you like even TV shows and stuff like that. You, you, you're well, TV me shows that, are different because that's that, entertainment, but news is a, supposed to be. You're telling me that a sportscaster on ABC Oxnard making no money? 
<laughs> well, only Fred yeah. Rogan and Jim Hill. <laughs> but they've hey, been buddy. there a while, yeah. right? Their they contracts are... Yeah. I've known Jim Hill since now. He looks the same for the last 30 years. Yeah, we, call him, we call him the mayor, <laughs> Jim Hill. You and go. you know, when I when, uh, used to cover the Lakers, it was just understood. Like, they didn't put it in your media packet, but it was understood Jim Hill always gets the first interview with Kobe. Everyone just stood back and waited for Jim Hill to get that interview. Yeah. And he's the nicest guy. Very cool. He's like, he's just Jim Hill. He has a Twitter? <laughs> if he has a Twitter, I would not be surprised if someone runs it for him. Jim he Loma. doesn't seem patient enough to. Because I remember, man, when Twitter <laughs> came around. He, he don't have no I would TikTok. See, <laughs> I would see the older comedian who already are like more established, more funnier. And they were, nah, man, this shit gonna last. <laughs> it's oh, just a wow. Yeah, right, fool. Yeah. Motherfucker got two followers still. <laughs> That's Still funny. can't even tweet, bro. But I remember Tw you. They're tweeting the real feelings, dog. <laughs> but I remember you from the beginning. You, you're very, uh, what's it called, savvy with uh, MySpace, and, like the internet. Like when I first met you, like in 2008, dude. Uh, man, I used to go to, I used to go with uh, Rodrigo and we used to hang out at Apple Store all day, bro, and learn. What? Just get the little codes, and make your wall. All that stuff. <laughs> no. Everybody was it's a fucking. Easy. Everybody <laughs> was a web designer with MySpace. But see, oh, yeah, bro, they, they learned how easy it actually was. Bro, I, I, I was coding on MySpace, bro. <laughs> Wait, bro, I remember there was cholas out there that knew how to make a code for the countdown on their MySpace. Or the the, the, spri the sprinkles going through the heart. They were not giving those away. You had to write it all They're down. making words with like letters and yeah. symbols. Yes. I, knew, I knew how to MySpace. I knew hey. how to make colors. Do you still have a MySpace? Do we still have I a MySpace? I, I forgot my password. It's how out do we there, bro. find My it? it. I never deleted in. it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting to look up our old MySpace. Man, you go over there, man, you see some old ass photo, bro. You look at your, 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 your whatever you wrote. This fool is bullshitting with this line. Huh. Uh, it's, just, it's just you and Tom and your eight friends? I'm, I, Tom. Your top eight? I'm going to look it up. Hey, if you go there, it's all music. It is all it music. Is music. Remember, remember when Justin Timberlake bought it like in 2013? Oh, I thought it was Ashton Kutcher. It was Timberlake for like $35 million. Oh, what? my God. Because he was going to revamp it, but they didn't fucking, nothing happened, dude. People were done with that shit, What dude. had happened was, what do you think... I would like to think, because I've seen you perform, I own your vinyl, You, I feel like part of the reason you guys blow up the way you do is because you're doing your own content, you're creating your own, I don't even like that word content, I actually just learned what content was this during the pandemic. <laughs> I'm like, what's a content creator? <laughs> I had no idea, but you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you don't wait for Hollywood to come to you. You found you a platform. Anymore. You can't anymore. I know, but this needs to be told because we're still not represented in Hollywood at yeah. all. And not, not on the news as well, especially in p positions of power, like the CEOs, the 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 ones green lighting the money like yeah man it's crazy we're bro. Like, invisible the gatekeepers. like we're, we're not what you guys are doing we're only invisible bro like if another for another blood and sweat like comes in then they're yeah. gonna need some more Latino sportscasters <laughs> uh, yeah no uh, that, well, that's when a uh, Dodger Stadium will get a uh, Farmer John hot dogs again. <laughs> For real, bro. <laughs> Are you sad? I, don't even <laughs> I didn't even know that. But Dodger, yeah. no more Dodger dogs. Well, Dodger no. dog, but not from you know Southgate. A different wiener maker. But, but the, can it still be called Dodger dog? Or of course. Yeah, it's a John Dodger dog. Is it taste different? Probably. It's just no Who more. Some now? Farmer John. Somebody. No mas. I can't remember. They're salchichas. Oscar Mayer. <laughs> salchichis. Oscar Mayer. I can't remember. Mine. I had Bologna. one two days ago. What's your um? What is your biggest your What is the favorite your favorite thing you own? My favorite thing I own. I've never at my vinyl collection and my record player. Oh yeah. It was my uncle Tommy's. How mm -hmm. big collection is it? Like everything. It's a lot of everything. I like a lot of music. Dude, Manuel and his wife have a big record collection too, huh? Probably like. Oh, I didn't say it was big. I just said I have a lot of. Are, are, you, are you one of the people that have a record collection in vinyl, but the roach is living in the plastic now? Oh, <laughs> no. no uh, the roaches died. There's just antennas now. If you go by crates, I probably have like six. Mean DJ. That's pretty good. Well, because I don't have to you measure. Do you have it. a Nissan Sentra drop? Uh, no. <laughs> I used to have a 69 Beetle. Or a Nissan. A, <laughs> Uh, hey, when I, was, when I was in like in uh, when, I was, when, I was, when I was in junior high school, there used to be a lot of clubs, bro, with little um Nissan trucks. Yes, absolutely. Easy, mini trucks, mini, mini trucks. riders, yeah. easy riders. Mini but, trucks, mini VW. This vans. club is sponsored by the Teddy Boys. Huh. The Teddy Boys. 
Who is that guy? He MPX took it back. <laughs> he took it back to the bro. Uh, growing up, Teddy Boys. Even though I never know known these guys, never met them. They used to promote. They used to. They were bro. They were the legends. The stuff that they did will throw motherfuckers in jail now. <laughs> Standing outside of high school, passing out flyers, trying to get kids to go to your club. Well, it was well, eighteen and over. Eighteen and over. I mean, someone was in high school at nineteen. Bro, my, <laughs> I told the kids, two more years, bro. I'm gonna get you guys beer. Her, her, her high school <laughs> song. Her high school song was a rinking ting ting. <laughs> Oh, no, man, huh? I know somebody who's trying to make a documentary about them. Suri Moreno. No. <laughs> Willie Barsana. Jesse Nunez. He used to go by Vato Sores Vato Sores. on uh, LATV. Vato yeah, he's he's actually. I should. I hope I. You didn't leak it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at I was I just saw my hair. I was trying to be like Felipe. It didn't really work. Good little lock in front. Yeah, of like. <laughs> My yeah, emo man. days. We that, started that talking about that should be a movie, bro. The, the club scene back then when everybody making flyers, Teddy Boys. Well, if we don't tell our stories, no one else will. Bro, they be passing out flyers outside the high our high school, dog. That was like party crews. Party crews, bro. Like so outside of our high school. They rented halls. Halls. And brought in oh. artists like the high energy, like Lisa, freestyle, Lisa, 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 Nicole Jam. even before Lisa, like British acts. British acts. And they charged money. They all they paid for was security. And like a DJ system, and they chart, and they sold out all the time, and they're Damn. like legendary party promoters. And these are high school kids. Yeah, they were out here in the East Side, like in in the West Side. They had their own thing, Uncle Jam's Army, and those fools had a big old. They were like before <laughs> Dr. Dre, before all that. They like Egyptian lover, big Egyptian lover, baby. Egypt, Egypt. They're young Egypt. people. Egyptian lover, baby. <laughs> bro, he they co-founded to, NWA. They they used to have big clubs, bro. At the CSO. I didn't go to any of them. I just heard Don't stories. Be lying. <laughs> no, I wish. I wish I'd went to the hip hop ones where you could see Ice T performing, just Never. like out there in a Venice club. Oh, I got to see with the Beastie Boys, Fishbone, and Run DMC together. Damn. Dang, Twice. I got to see Run DMC too. Did you ever see NWA? Never, man. I regret that. I never got I to. saw Snoop Dogg peeing one time at a gas station. At the <laughs> that's, that's a, that's Snoop, a Snoop Dogg tried to I, light his joint on my leg. Like he tried to light a match on my leg. Like a cartoon? Many years ago, <laughs> man, yeah, I was like interviewing him, and he leans over. He's trying to like light something so he could smoke his blunt. What have been your? Oh, did you get that? I wanted to make sure we got that. On camera. What have been your most memorable interview? Like when you think <gasps> back, you know what? This is the one that that's, really made me feel that I'm doing this job. That's easy, Salma Hayek. She my is, sister. Oh, she's your sister? No, from another mystery. Because that's my girlfriend. That had a like if I dated women, <laughs> Salma Hayek would be. In fact, for her, I would date women. She's married, but Damn it's all right. <laughs> like you her? Say, I did, and she Frida? was <laughs> even yeah, Frida, and and awesome. again, I was the only Latina in the room. A lot of men, and none of them brown, and and it's not their fault. I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. Yeah. It's just the way Hollywood is. You know that you yeah. work in Hollywood, and so they were her publicist was pulling her out, and I was like, they ran out of time. And she's like, one more interview. And okay, everyone bonita. raised their hands. And yeah. I'm like, tiny. Like, and she goes, ah. you. And pointed at me. And I feel like that's what she does. She loves supporting women. She loves supporting you know, people of color. She wants everyone's story to be told. And they, when they told her, no, you can't make Frida, she did it herself. And that's what you guys are doing with your videos and stuff. I was never allowed to do that because the news, yeah. they owned my ass. And now that they don't, I don't even know where to start. Like I'm, I'm, I'm writing like crazy. I'm, I now have. I was gonna get another job here in LA, so I kind of held back with the YouTube and the podcast. But this is really exciting. Can I nerd out and be excited yeah. that I'm here with you guys? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Felipe. Yeah. Hell yeah! You should have your own podcast. You this should, is awesome. Dude. I wanna, I wanna, um, yeah. I want our stories to be told. I think me representation too, matters is I very saw, important to me. For for real, man. I saw the I saw the um, uh, movie trailer the other day. And it got me motivated, bro. And it was, um, I, I, can't, I can't, I don't know actor's name. I'll just tell you what they're in. It was that guy from Atlanta. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, Keith like Keith Stanford, uh, Idris Elba, oh, Regina no. King. And they're all doing a cowboy movie, Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, okay. That movie is badass, yeah. bro. Oh, and also Idris Elba playing James Bond. But, yeah, that's but fucking it's, cool, it's Badass, man. bro. Is but it? it's called Bond. Oh, so it's called, the show's called the movie called 007. They call him 007. Man. I didn't know that. But he's not James Bond, bro. When I saw those two movies, it, it made me think, you know what, man? 
I'm gonna just write my own movie, bro. And and, That's and, what and, I'm and if they don't want to, they don't want to. And then I'm gonna just borrow really money, so bro. Start robbing people to make you it. You could do Dude, like, hey, oh, hey, bro. whoa, whoa. That's what I feel when I what saw I, like Taika Waititi's movies, like Boy and fucking. I'm like, dude. These are low budget movies, but they're fucking good. They're bro. powerful, right? Yeah. Dude. Okay, I want. Sure, like homies, bro. Yeah. Since you're from the east side, and I, this is very important to me. I'm trying to talk Danny Trejo into doing this. A Chicano war movie. Why don't we have any Chicano? We war are, movies? man. American, me and blood in, blood out. Yeah. <laughs> That's a war movie. Not the war, war on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. Soldier. For real, bro. It was the we've, the brown berets, bro. Remember we have I did served an interview. in every oh, yeah. war this country has had, and we are invisible. And yeah. I and look at the Spike Lee just did one, right? The five. The five heartbeats. The five bloods. <laughs> the five bloods. It was critically acclaimed and everything. Where's Red ours? Tails. <laughs> no. My it's dad went to, to Vietnam it. with his buddies from Garfield, Roosevelt, and Salesian. And it's like, no one talks about yeah. their experience. I, I want like a full metal jacket style. But I know. Like, and we had a guy we here. Talk about we had a, for real. Music. We had a guy here on the show, Butch Escobar. His father was in Vietnam too, but his father was a little short Mexican, oh, yeah. little skinny fool. He was in charge of going inside the tunnel with a flashlight and a oh pistol, my. chasing those VCs out of the fucking tunnels. Oh my God. That's why I missed Marquis when I died. No. He just died? No way. Cut the vapors. He cut the vapors. No. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. You man. got what I need. All right, big dog. What's up? What's your Instagram and Twitter and your Say YouTube? Can you allow just a friend. It is uh, Alicia Del Valle, my name. A L Y S H A D E L V A L L E. Alicia Del Valle and I, we've been in like two parades. Yeah. Southgate and East LA Parade. Uh, East LA. Got it, baby. Hey, this year again, dude. Well, Penny's we, over. Remember, I used to be proud of <laughs> growing up. And they made a joke about it, but it was still growing up because um, when you will see Latino casters, Latino um, newscasters or sportscasters on, on a television, they were not allowed to be Mexican, bro. They were not allowed to be Chicano. So the only time they were allowed to be Chicano when they said their names. So that's how they, yeah. they, they used to over announce the name like Alberto Amesqua. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Alfaro. Hey, that guy. John Ferraro. Uh, Henry Alfaro's a legend. Yeah, man. Yeah, I could tell you stories, but uh, off air. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a guy, man, you might, you might, I don't know if you know him, but um, he used to work for Channel 5, and I used to f always see that for the hot, bro. The hot? <laughs> and they'd be hood red dancing with one that took to him. Channel 5. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that newscaster that was missing, the one that partied? Oh, I did not know him. I didn't know of him. That's crazy. That story's awful. Insane. I feel for his family I feel so bad, uh, bad. All over, man. It's a mean ass story, huh? Yeah. And his, yeah, man. <laughs> I don't even want to. Rizzo, like, what's your Instagram? Comic Martin Rizzo. Follow me, guys. I post videos. Rodrigo. At Rodrigo Torres Jr. Uh, yeah, that's my handle. Man, you, it was <laughs> awesome having you. You should come back again. Oh, and hang you guys out with are us awesome. The, the Thank interview. you. For yeah, letting man. me hang out in your space. This is so cool. What's up, fool? Podcast. Yeah, man. Yeah, man.